Hello Nerf world, I'm Dr. Flux and today we're going to check out the Adventure Force Super Drum. Let's check it out. Alright, the Adventure Force Super Drum. This is a very, very cool looking blaster. Actually the plastic on this thing feels great. Uh, definitely not the Busby type. It's It feels like uh, more of the X shot or the dart zone type of build and actually this thing is a reskin of the X shot turbo advance I'd like to note the switch right here so you can fire from the outer ring and then when you need to fire from the inner ring you switch that and you fire from the inside that's a very satisfying blaster to shoot but yeah, we need to get some uh, chronograph readings off this and some range tests, some accuracy checks. I'm actually pretty happy. With it. I really like how this thing looks. It's very chunky and very futuristic, which I, my kind of blaster, love futuristic looking stuff. Yeah, but yeah, it feels great. The handle is a little tight for me, I will say, because I don't have a lot of clearance down here. But if my hand was a little short, smaller, it would feel really good. So yeah, let's go check this one out. Let's go ahead and open up the Adventure Force Super Drum real quick before we do though. We have, uh, so this is coming with 96 darts, a barrel, two covers, and the drum, and the blaster. Let's go ahead and flip it over. So this is a pump action. This is a Springer. Uh, looks like they're using a, a flip switch to go from the outer ring to the inner ring. So you're unable to fire all darts without flipping that switch. And of course, got the priming handle and the drum. So let's go ahead and open this up. The super draw. Okay, I just wanted to make a note. This is probably one of the easiest uh, drum swap uh, features that I've seen for drum magazines. All it is is just press of a button and it slides back and forth. Pretty nice. So in the open position, put the drum in. And it just fits right like that and then close. We'll be firing at uh, 30 feet and I have markers every 10 feet. So we're going to try this with the men gun since I wasn't too impressed with the standard Adventure Force start. Wild pug has appeared. <laughs> Got a switch. <laughs> it's 
weird. And the Super Drum final review. The overall feel of this blaster is great. I mentioned that earlier. It feels like a solid product. The plastic has that really good, strong, chunky, durable feel. The overall design of it is innovative. I like, I kind of like, I wasn't at first, I wasn't really too fond of the switching inner to outer, but I think it's cool. You know, you, you can increase your capacity. A lot of these drums that I see, they'll uh, not utilize this inner space, so it's, it's very nice to see that being fully utilized. Some of the drawbacks of this, my blaster in particular was having ratcheting problems. Of course, it's not doing it now. Um, I'm not sure what was going on in there. It's almost as if I was getting hung up on, the, uh, on this post here or the ratcheting mechanism was not working right, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what, and it, it was happening quite a bit, you can probably see in the video. Uh, one thing I am very impressed on is this assembly, which I, I touched point on. It's a good, it's a nice feature because a lot of these drum fed type of blasters, it's not easy to quickly swap out the drum, whereas this one, it is. So I like that. I think uh, this would look amazing painted up. I think it'd be a good cosplay weapon. I think this is a great blaster to integrate with other things. I think it would work well, you know, even adding an attachment, maybe redoing the pistol grip that I'm not 100% sold on. It's a little crowded for my hand, but I'm sure some hands are actually pretty comfortable in here. Uh, it's a pretty good size blaster. So overall, I like it. Uh, I need to get another one maybe, or, or maybe if I can thrift one or something, but. Uh, or open this up and take a look at the internals. Maybe I have something wrong with this one. But it was not performing well enough for me to take to an HVZ or a WAR because of its reliability and its current state. But I think I might have a lemon. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy nerfing. You hear this? Go back, 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 back.